What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Miles Thorne, and I am back with who? Malachi Starks, everybody. And we are back with another episode of the No Cap Show. Before we get started, I got to give a big shout out to the Mark and a huge shout out to the Players Lounge. Please, please, please go check out the website and uh, let's get into the show. Today, we're joined with special guest. Drum roll, please, everybody. Branson Robinson, the Man, strongest the legend. muscle I've ever seen in my life. He's like a <laughs> walking cramp. Yeah. <laughs> He's like Popeye after you used to spinach, man. How you doing, Branson? Doing well, man. You know, just blessed to wake up this morning, you know. All glory to God, you know what I'm saying? So Why are you talking about that? Amen. I can't give God No, I'm just glory. saying, that's not. I mean, <laughs> Before the show I mean, started, I mean, that's he, not. He just, he just, yeah, he just. You against God? No, I mean, you just I mean, flipped I, the switch. Why, why are you dissing you just, on his, he just flipped the why switch, though. Why are you dissing though. on his, his, the way he Okay, him. you know what? You're right. Let the man be comfortable. All glory to God. Okay. You're you right. Out. No, you can be yourself. Yeah, yeah. Be, be I yourself. love God. Yeah. I love, I love God. Hold on. I love I God, love too. God. Wait, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why do you do that? Like, I love God. I love yeah, God, too. Love God. Don't do okay. that. Man. Anyway, <laughs> what's going on, man? How you feeling? Man, just taking it day by day, man. Day by day. You know, get my knee back right, but yeah. that's about it. I was about to say, a lot of... Um, so no, before, before we dive into all that, yeah. tell the people your background. Where you from? Hey. Uh, the story when you started playing football. Who, who is Branson Robinson? Let's start there. I am Branson Robinson, obviously. I'm from Kent, Mississippi, small town, like 10 minutes north of Jackson, Mississippi. If you guys know where that at. Um, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't plan to visit there or anything like that. <laughs> not a place you want to visit. It's not right. fun? I wouldn't. It's fun for us because all we do is be outside and, and play in the mud and stuff. I don't think y'all. Play in the mud? Yeah, that's what, that was our thing back I mean, in the you day. You never played in the mud? Like, I mean, like, yeah, like how, cool. how young are we talking here? Well, you stop around like fifth grade. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. All Sixth right. grade, you just that's transition valid. That's valid. into that's valid. playing on the concrete, you know, no shoes on. <laughs> what? Like, that's, that's normal. That's normal. What? Playing on the concrete, no yes, shoes yes, on? Yes. We were never in the house. But anyways. Wait. That's not the problem. It's the shoes. Where are your shoes? Oh, no shoes. Nobody worry about shoes. I mean, you you just had holes in your socks from you like. You just had socks. That's, that's cool. why your feet look like that. Hey, cool. That's why your feet look it's like just that. The big no, toe. no, no, no. It's, it's just, just, just the big toe. It's, it's not just the big, just toe, the big toe. If if y'all have ever seen a picture of Branson Robinson's feet, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say it like that. I'm it's sorry. Big toe. <laughs> it's a big toe. <laughs> Anyways, continue. All right, go ahead. Man. Yeah, um, yeah. Born and raised in Kansas Mississippi. I got two other two other siblings. I got an older brother. Uh, he's 25. I got a younger sister. She's 18. Graduating high school. Um. Started playing football around six, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was always, bro, y'all won't believe it, but I've been this height since fourth grade. Like, I ain't, <laughs> I've been, I've been five, I'm gonna give myself 5'11. I've been, I've been 5'11 for like fourth grade. So I was always taller than everybody. Right. And I was always bigger, but I went like buff big. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was just tall and just, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just didn't look my age. Yeah. So I was always like super good at football when I was young. Or at least what's what hey. they say, you know what I'm saying. This is the no cap show. You are <laughs> you are not five eleven, bro. You are five nine. Bro, if I get, I tell you this all the time. <laughs> you are five nine, yeah. five ten on a good day. If bro. I get eight hours of sleep, I'm five <laughs> eleven. No I'm five eleven. <laughs> Stand straight up, like shoulders pent like this. Oh, your TV yeah. toes? No, 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 no. Good I, day. Eight hours of sleep. Good day. I give you five eleven. Right. I give five eleven. It has to be a great day. This is one of them days, like, God really, yeah, really blessing you today. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't no regular day. You know, regular day, I'm just 5'10", 5'10 right, right. and a quarter. Go ahead, That's bro. like me, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Regular day, I'm 0'6'2". You know, I, I, I get blessed. <laughs> Hold up. First of all, why y'all laughing? Nowhere near that. What? Well, you, you're near 6'2"? Six six. Two? I give you 6'2". I'm 6'2". You're two. like you ain't too much six taller foot. Than me. Okay, 6 foot is crazy. You're 6 foot. I'm, defi I'm definitely at least 6 foot. We're, I'm, we're 6 foot. No, okay, I'm way taller than you. We is Branson, crazy. Keep going for it. Keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. You're not 6'2". But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I always, uh, I always loved football from a very young age, you know what I'm saying? Since I was like, yeah, six years old or whatever. Um, Some would say you're built like a football. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that before. I've seen that on Twitter before. They said you were you were made to play football. I mean, yeah. I mean, I love the game. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, I don't, I'm not a big basketball person or anything. Yeah. I, I watch it. Are you good at it? 
I can bag you up in the post, you know, give you a little <laughs> little dirt, you know what I'm saying, dirt and whiskey type thing, but that's about it, though, you know what I'm saying? I can dunk, too. Yeah, I can dunk. Believe it or not, I got hops. But, uh, yeah, transitioning to uh, <laughs> transitioning to middle school, uh, yeah, um, I went to Nichols Middle School. It's in Kim, Mississippi. I got in a lot of trouble there growing up, mm-hmm. so... You know, it was just a bad, it wasn't necessarily me, but it was like the environment around me. Mm-hmm. And it, you know, it like persuaded me to make gotcha. like certain bad choices mm-hmm. and stuff. So I had to transfer, you know what I'm saying, to, a, it's Madison, Mississippi. It's like five minutes away from Kent, Mississippi. Mm-hmm. But it's a much nicer area. So, right. and it put me on a bigger platform like, to get reach out to the college coaches and everything like that. So yeah, transfer to middle school, same thing as usual. Been good at football once I got there and everything mm-hmm. like that. Got to high school or whatever. Um, had a good freshman start. Played varsity. Never played JV or anything like that. Because you never played JV. Never played JV. That's crazy. Yeah, never played it. I was a JV all star. For real, quarterback, safe or no? I was a linebacker. I was a quarterback, linebacker, receiver. Yeah, JV. I mean, it was yeah. fun to watch, but you know. What I'm saying? Yeah. It's I was like, because I was splitting, like, I was doing JV, but I could only do two quarters. Because you had the same two quarters for varsity. Yes, because I could yeah. go play varsity, so. Yeah, and um, had a good freshman year. Had a real good freshman year. One first team all region or whatever. Uh, transitioned my sophomore year. I got hurt a lot. Like, I partially tore my PCL. Mm-hmm. And um, that don't take long to come from if, if it's partially torn. Right. It yeah. take about four, five weeks. I can't remember how long, but I was doing rehab. Came back. The second time I got the ball, I partially tore my other PCL and my other knee. So that just, I just set out that whole sophomore year after that happened. I could have came back, but I just set out. Um, But yeah, I was really like doubting myself at that point. I was like, I ain't the same, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it ain't for me no more. And um, yeah, that whole sophomore, after my sophomore year, my dad, he just kept trying to like pill talk me and everything, like stay in it. But I wasn't really feeling it at all. Like football was just, not on my mind at all. But uh, tragedy struck. Um, my uncle, my um, dad's youngest brother, his, he got four other siblings. He did, my dad's um, brother, he was killed. Mm. He was shot um, while he was driving. at a, uh, He was stopped at a traffic stop, traffic mm-hmm. light. And um, since, he, since he was the youngest, like me and my siblings and my other cousin and everything, we, we related to him the most, right. you know, so out of all my uncles mm-hmm. and aunties. Cause <clears throat> He understood us the most because right. you know he went too far apart in age. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was our. He was more like a, like he was more like our cousin. You know what I'm saying? Instead mm-hmm. of our uncle, we never even called him uncle for right. it because <clears throat> it wasn't that type of thing. Because mm-hmm. we had that type of bond. But uh, yeah, he died, and um, it really took a toll on us as a family for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It took. I mean, I know how I felt because I I got the call from my cousin, my uh, my. My dad's brother, he the oldest. I got a call from my cousin, 11 o'clock at night, you know, saying, um, is your dad home? Is your dad, you know, in his room? Mm-hmm. Go get him. I knew somebody. At that point when he said that, I knew something was up. I knew somebody. Yeah. It involved another person right. in our family. Uh, went, in, went in my room, handed the phone to my dad, and the way he reacted, I knew it was one of my aunties or uncles, and mm-hmm. they uh, we they told us and everything, and, um, Seeing him, seeing him react that way in my my whole family, it just took a toll on me for real, and um, that's I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy right. at all. But um, yeah, it was just a uh, it was a bad moment for us. Yeah, it, it, I say this, we we'll, we adjusted to it, but it'll never be just normal. This mm-hmm. is our new normal type. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It'll never. We always when we have family functions, we always do that. We always been tight knit, mm-hmm. so we have family functions all the time. We adjust to it. We adjust to it now. Early on, it was hard. We couldn't right. really even do it. Yeah. But we adjust to it now. But in the back of our mind, like all of us know, like it, it ain't really the same normal as it is before. So going into my junior year, my my that junior summer, going into my summer, going to my junior year that summer, right? Mm-hmm. I was like, bro. And he left. I forgot to mention he left behind a one year old daughter. Mm-hmm. So she, we, she didn't know really what was going on. Right. So I'm like, bro. If it's football really what, it, what it's supposed to be is what I think it is, I'm going to just train and grind this whole summer, you know, see what it is and just, I'm going to just do it for my uncle, you know what I'm saying? And um, try to do it for him and try to honor his name, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, and that happened. And um, keep in mind, no coaches, no 
JUCOs, none of those, like, was even interested in me right. going into my junior year. I mean, I had a really good freshman year. By sophomore year, I really didn't play. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have no interest. So I just stayed down and grind that whole summer. Like, I didn't go out or nothing like that. Right. And um, first game, man, 300 yards, six touchdowns. Second game, Damn. I had, like, 450 for six again. Mm -hmm. But my second game is where it happened. Cause we had another, we had an ESPN uh, D lineman. He was about 6'6", 350. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but can move though. Yeah, right. he had he had Ole Miss actually named Zay. Shout out to Zay. But uh, yeah, a Michigan coach was there for him. Mm -hmm. So that was that was looking for him. him. That was watching him. But yeah, like that's what happened. Where you know what I'm saying? I went off that game. So next day they called my coach and everything. I was getting all the information and everything like that. And then my coach called me into his office. I'm thinking I'm in, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I did something. You know, I was I went squeaky clean. Up to that point, I did a little sleeky stuff in high school up to that point. So I'm like, oh, my God, coach find out something that I, right. I did. You know what I'm saying? So um, he called me in his office, and he he was got emotional. I'm thinking, oh, something definitely wrong. Right. Something definitely happened. I'm going to get kicked out the team. <laughs> he, he over there crying. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yeah, he um he told me, man, like, uh, Michigan came down. Uh, they, was, they was watching here. They was here for Zay. And they said they love what they saw, and um, they offered you a scholarship. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As soon as he said that, like I was in shock. You know what I'm saying? First offer. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna grind this whole this whole year and going into my junior year, and um, you know, once I start going crazy or whatever, I'm gonna start getting interest. Like start low. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, Michigan. I mean, they just wanted yeah, Natty. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. It's like, dang, that's first offer. And um I called my dad as soon as that happened. He was he was excited, he was screaming. Uh I got on the phone with the coach that actually offered me the runner as coach. He was like, Man, this is the first of many. And he was like, We love what he saw. And then after that, next day, Ole oh, Miss, Mississippi State, Oregon. That's how it and goes. started rolling in. But uh yeah, that's how everything led up to that point. That's how my had a whole, had a great junior year. We went to the semifinal, we lost, won the state championship my senior year. And um, yeah, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I, um, but once I got that Georgia offer, that sh it, it clicked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> as soon as McGee got on the phone with me, I I knew. Okay, this I had a good feeling about it for right. sure. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much the background. I was about to say. So, speaking of McGee, how do you feel that McGee has went to Georgia State now? It was definitely tough. Yeah. Cause um. That's the guy that recruited me. That was the big reason why I came here. Mm -hmm. Not the whole entire reason, but he was a big part, very big part. And um, yeah, it was it was tough. Um, we knew as soon as that that job opened up, and um, he was being one of the candidates. Mm -hmm. We knew it was pretty much, you know, written yeah. down, you know, written the pen, yeah. because you know Austin, his son, he goes yeah, there. He going there. So yeah. once they had, I was already trying to adjust to it before they even announced it. Yeah. But it was still hard once it came out, once the news came out. But uh, yeah, it's been tough, man. But we learned to adjust to it. Luckily, the guy they have to replace him, um, Coach Crawford, great guy. Like I really, yeah. I mess with Crawford. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He cool. He real cool. But um, it was tough. It's just something you you had to realize. I mean, that's the that's that's college football. Mm -hmm. You know, coaches go level up, and that's every co coach's dream to be a head right. coach. So fact, so you just gotta deal with it. So do you think like going back? Um, I say I commend you on the way you grew up, you mm -hmm. know, like with the situations that you were dealt. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not supposed to be where you at, and you are. So right. um, I just want to let you know I'm proud of you for that. Appreciate um, it. Would you say going through what you went through when you were little uh, kind of helped you, like, adapt to change? So, like, when you got to college, like, everybody goes through a bunch of changes. Like, when you got here, mm -hmm. um, and, like, you know, you know your struggles, and we, we'll get into that, but, like, for instance, like Coach McGee leaving, like that's a huge change. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I see it like in different people's rooms when people when B Mac leaves, like it's a, it's a huge change for people, right. especially like if you have that connection with that person. So do you think that the way the way that you grew up, the way that you're wired, do you think that helped you with being able to adapt to change? Right. Um, keep in mind, like the way I grew up, I grew up in a strict household, strict household. But I, like my parents, they. You know they did well for themselves. Right. Yeah. You know my dad, he owns two car dealerships, and my mom, she's a nurse practitioner. She owns mm -hmm. her own clinic. So we always 
had things that we needed. You know, we never got everything that we wanted, maybe. But um, yeah, so I, I, I didn't grow up as far as being like, the way I grew up, it was more strict than, you know, growing up rough, you know what I'm yeah, saying? You know what I'm saying? And um, fortunately, that was the case. Um, so the way I was raised, it was really from a young age, my dad instilled those type of things as far as like being mature at a young age. Mm -hmm. He, um, well, that's one thing about my dad, and I hope I can carry it over if when I have my son mm -hmm. or, or daughter or anything like that. He, um, he knew the game. Like and he taught me the game at a very young age. He he know he taught me how to react to certain situations when I was six, mm -hmm. five, you know, mm -hmm. growing up. And um one thing about my dad, he hot headed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He like anything that ticked him off, <clears throat> like I mean he I seen him get out the car and like argue with the police before. Right. Like <laughs> and I, I'm like, bro, you finna get shot. Really? Like, what, bro? <laughs> you finna <laughs> get <laughs> shot over a speeding ticket? Like, shot like, over a speeding ticket. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, very bad. But uh, yeah, he was in a rush to go somewhere. I'm like, you got out the car. I'm like, bro, this is not how you. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm like, bro, this can't be the way you handle this. But <laughs> this ain't the game you taught me, dude. Who what is you this doing? Person? The thing about my dad, what makes my, what made it so like um, the way I was taught. The way it stuck with me is because I seen him do it, and then I see him handling it the wrong way, and then he'll tell me, that's not how you do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll just teach me the game and everything like that. To kind of do as I say, not as I do. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly how exactly. my dad was. Yeah. Man. But, um, yeah, hard working, both of them. Yeah. I mean, they we get up for school. Um, they both gone, you know what I'm saying? We catching the bus with none of mm -hmm. both our parents gone, yeah, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And my, yeah, when we get back yeah. home, they don't get home to 10, 11, mm -hmm. especially my dad, you know? And um, yeah, so they, they instilled those traits in us and all, both of my siblings and me, to, me as well. Like success is not just giving, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just something you have to work for. And I, and I always consider myself a hardworking person um, leading up until that tragedy, mm -hmm. but I never really knew what hard work it was until after that, because I had a reason. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I had a reason for what I was doing. Yeah, that's kind of what flipped the switch. Yeah, that would flip the switch for me. Like I always, in practice, I always go hard. You mm -hmm. know, because I was doing what I love. It wasn't, it wasn't hard to practice hard. Yeah, because I love playing football. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I never really just like had had that extra like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, different perspective. Exactly. Like, like, so. When, you know, after that happened, going back to that, after that happened, that tragedy, I, I tapped into a different mindset. Like, something inside me just told me, like, man, I, whatever I want, like, I'm gonna have to do this. I was on a certain schedule. Like, I didn't have no outside distractions. Was like, let's go get in the way. Right. What, I, what I wanted, so. Not even the girlies? I thought, I thought big old muscle man Branson Robertson would have a couple of shots. No, 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 no. That was always. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't, that ain't, ain't never been a problem. problem. <laughs> that, ain't never been, that ain't never been a problem. Boy, that ain't cool, never been a problem, boy. bro. That ain't never been a problem. You know, bro. I would never have guessed your dad was a hot header. Because, like, for a lot of y'all um, that don't know, me and you got here at the same time. Right. Actually, I think me and you were like, you were the first person I talked to when I got here. Right. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you were. Uh, when we was on the bus going to G Day, uh -huh. and then um, we all got announced or whatever, and we all did the little wave or whatever. But yeah. like, I talked to him. You was the first person I talked to. Uh, I ain't really talked to your your pops or nothing like that. But he seemed chill. He seemed cool, laid back. Like, my dad know how to act in front in front of certain people. In front of the right he people. Know, <laughs> he know, he know when to turn it turn it off and turn it on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> He very good at that. Do you got and that? I, I don't want, because he might watch this. He might see it. I don't want y'all to think my dad is a, just going to shoot up. If, if you say something wrong to him, he'll just shoot it out, just air it out. He's not that type. I'm just saying, if some, if you, if you, he know he right about something and you try to tell him he wrong, he going to argue with you yeah, until he, so, yeah, so he, 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 he going to on business. You know he just don't saying? argue unless I'm right type of guy. Exactly. That's like, exactly when, how my brother once is. Once he know bro. he right and you trying to, oh, no, nah, he ain't going for that. Bro, nah. Yeah, he not, he, he'll fight you for that. He'll fight you for that. My brother bro. hit me. He said, he said, I don't argue unless I'm right. Right. <laughs> he said, what is the point? <laughs> right. Like, that don't make no sense, bro. Uh, yeah. But it do, though. Like, I mean, it makes sense, but. you wrong, why you going to argue? It's about perspective. Like, you don't but know if he, you're right or wrong. I want to say this about my dad real fast, but uh, he, he had the perfect balance. He, he was that, but at the same time, he was loving. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. was a father, a good father is supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was big on this. He big on what he stood on. Like, if 
curfew. You got to be home at 12. Mm-hmm. Boy. You know, if you any two minutes past that, he in the kitchen wait for you. You Bro. know what I'm saying? I got some horror stories about I'm, curfew. I'm, yeah. So like. once, once you're on, he, he going to get on you about it, but he's a type to come back Boy. after he get on you and say, I did that because I love you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And he truly do. So I, I, it's a perfect balance between it, but yeah. That's how my dad man, was. Shout out to Pops, man. Yeah. My mom was the same way, but you know, my mom gonna be my mom. She gonna always have a soft spot yeah, for you me. Baby. So, yeah. you know, not she gonna always, she go always <laughs> you mess with me? you. I said, not mine. <laughs> for real? <laughs> Bro, nah. Because my, when my Pops passed away, my mom kind of had to step into the, like, both the both roles or whatever. Mm-hmm. And when you said curfew, I just got hit with a bunch of flashbacks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, like... Oh, yeah. There'll be times I'll be pulling in the driveway and it'll, my curfew was like 11 o'clock. All my friends, nah, my curfew was 10.30. Mm-hmm. All my friends curfew, 11.30, 11 o'clock, 12, some people. Right. Mm-hmm. Boy, I, man, bro, it'd be 10.31. I'm texting her. Cause I'm, I'm, like, I'm texting her, I'm like, mom, I'm pulling in the driveway <laughs> right now. I'm pulling in right now, please. <laughs> bro, it's one light on. Just one. Just, like the oh, yeah. whole house is dark. Oh, but yeah. Just the living room light on, bro. And I'm like, God. She she yeah, I'm just waiting, bro. I'm going to say this. But I had a curfew up to my senior year. My senior year, um, they, they didn't really just let me do anything I You're want. You're lucky. But, huh? You're lucky. I'm lucky. I, I went back my freshman year of college. Mm-hmm. I still had a curfew, bro. I swear to God. For real? I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> once I got my senior year, I mean, they, they was really just easy. Cause they trusted me at that yeah. point, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And they, the right they knew I had something to lose, right. so they knew I was gonna be smarter exactly. with my decisions, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But um, it's my junior year, it's prom night, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and after prom, I ain't had no curfew on prom. <laughs> nah, nah, I still, they, you know, they still, they said be home two thirty. Oh, I yeah, get, nah. <laughs> I guess, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of late, but prom is different. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Prom, prom you got to be out to like five. Yeah, you got to see the sun the, come up. You got to see the <laughs> yeah, sun exactly. come up. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm thinking two thirty. I was like, oh, I don't know about that. It's prom. So, yeah. so uh, we, had a, we had a party bus, uh, my class. We had a party <laughs> bus and we drove all the way to Winona. It's a place called Winona, Mississippi. It's like an hour and a half away. Yeah. We drove there and back. But on the way there, on the way there, bro, it was already three o'clock. They calling me. I, I put my phone on D&D. Because I, I know, bro, I'm not going to let them ruin, bro, prom for me? So I, I'm, I'm over here just ignoring their calls. You know what I'm saying? They texting me. They calling me. I know they worry sick. Because yeah. I'm not even picking up the phone and telling them I'm here. Like, I'm still alive. But I'm not even picking it up at all. I mean, like, I'm just trying to enjoy prom. So I don't make it back to... You know where we started, six thirty maybe. Oh my god! How are you boy, still alive? <laughs> but but I, when I I was so scared, I was trembling, bro. Like I couldn't even. I had to drive with two hands on the wheel. Like I couldn't drive with one because I knew the consequences of my actions. I knew. <laughs> I knew the consequences of my. Actions. I knew what was gonna come behind. At this point, I wasn't getting no whoopings because I'm 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 too big. I'm too big. Yeah. But I knew he was. I was gonna feel my dad yeah. rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. I knew I was go, I was gonna get some type of punishment. I get there, he wasn't even in there. So I'm, I'm, I couldn't even sleep because I'm thinking he gonna bust in the room. <laughs> he he was so awesome, crazy. Dog, yeah. I'm like, this too, this too perfect. And keep in mind, like the next morning, we we went and got something to eat. We went and got some breakfast. That's like a family. Right. We he ain't sitting there the whole time. You know, he was like. Um, they went in, my mom and my sister, they went in to uh, get a table. And it was just me and him in the car. Oh my God. <laughs> it was just me and him in the car. He was like, only reason I wasn't there when you got there, because if I would have saw you, I probably would have. <laughs> I probably would have laid hands on you. Like I, I probably would have just, you know what I'm saying? And I, I knew, he, he said it so calmly, and I knew he was furious when he said it. You know what I'm saying? It was one of them things where I couldn't even look at him. I was like, <laughs> you had to look out the window? Because like- if, if I looked at him, he'll, he'll be pissed off. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he just took my car or whatever for a, for a week or so. Mm. But um, I can just, bro, it's just certain things like that. You know, my dad, he just, it's the way he went about things, you know what I'm saying, yeah. as far as discipline. You know what I'm saying? A lot of... I went, I'm not trying to speak down on anybody's dad or anything like that, but there's a lot of dads out there that don't know how to, how to be a father, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I, I feel like, you know, he did it the right way. You know, perfect balance of, like, discipline and, like, loving at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah. 
And I was about to say, I think it, I think it translates that discipline that he instilled in you. Right. Definitely translates. I mean, obviously, one of the big things that people talk about all the time is uh, how physically you are built. You right. know what I mean? And mm -hmm. so I know in the weight room, like weight room is all about discipline. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's about doing the same thing, same workouts right. over and over again. Mm -hmm. But if you stay disciplined, kids, you can come out like Branson. <laughs> you go, how much you weigh? vegetables. Yeah, I was about to say, you eat your vegetables. You're not going to be, what'd you say, six foot, five, eleven, whatever he lied about. Five, 11, You're not going to be that tall, but five, you'll 11, be strong. And like, another, another thing to piggyback off of that, so like, I'm in the training room with you. Right? Yeah. Like, like, I'm in there. Mm. Um, and like, granted, you've been there longer than I have, mm. but like, for you to show up every day, do the same thing, same mm -hmm. sheet. You go over to the counter, you see the sheet, you mm -hmm. do the same thing every day. Mm -hmm. and it, it gets repetitive, but yet you keep doing it. I think that shows the discipline that your parents have put in you. And yeah. the fact that you, like, you took it and you applied it to your life. Like, you didn't just take it, went to college, and it left. Yeah, mm -hmm. and just like threw it away, yeah. It. And I, think, I think that's going to help you get to where you want to go in life. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Do you like lifting weights? No, I don't. <laughs> I used I used to probably lift in high school. That's how I really just became like so, you know, yeah. physically how like many times built. Did you lift a day? Just once. Just when one. we when we lift, no. I mean, I'm at to I'm at a point where it's, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm old. I just turned twenty, March seventeenth. Bro, I ain't a teenager no more. That's my, old. Yeah, bro. My knees don't work the same no I'm more. Getting up there. I, I mean, when I do lift. I maximize my reps and everything like that. Yeah. I mean, but I'm just saying, yeah, I just, I'm not the same type of lifter I was. I'm like, I'm not a bodybuilder, bro. Like, right. I'm a football player, right. you feel know I me? Mean? At the end of the day, so it's cool, whatever. So there was a, there was a rumor going around that, like, you you did, like, competitive lifting mm -hmm. in high school. Is that true? Yeah, I did powerlifting. Yeah. Powerlifting is uh, competitive lifting. Three-time state champ, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Only Slight reason, flex. Only reason I won four. It's because the COVID year, my sophomore year, we, we had to stop it. So mm. I would have been, been full. So what, what were your numbers looking like? Uh, keep in mind, I was in 2020 weight class. That's the weight class I was in. Yeah. And, um, so my highest deadlift, which is the record in Mississippi in the 2020 weight class, is 725 deadlift. So y'all got to Let's do some math here, if y'all can count. Um, that's 725, right? Right. Bench. It's not a regular bench. It's harder. You gotta pause it. You gotta pause it. You pause it. Pause it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta pause back. it. So I think I did 385. That's pause. I think that was a record. Too. Yeah, that was a record in my in my weight class in 2020 Mississippi. Just use your phone. Type. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Keep going. I'm, 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 I'm gonna follow. I'm following. Um, and squat. <laughs> <laughs> squat. I did 630. <laughs> so. <laughs> At those, they, like, they're like uh, 725 plus 630. Plus they're like uh, 2,675 pounds. And the the total number was the record for my class too. So yeah, oh, 1740. <laughs> yeah. 1740. 1740. And my senior year, like you know, my senior year, I was already like committed to Georgia, or whatever. So um, at this point, like they didn't want to like risk my football career because they knew yeah. I was a football player. I didn't even like lift with the powerlifting to like practice, you know right. what I'm saying? Because I was, I just showed up at the meet and just lifted, lifted. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I, I never practiced. That is crazy. Yeah, I never, I never practiced. So I could have been stronger than that, but it was just to a certain point, like I'm not a bodybuilder, like yeah. I'm, a, I'm a football player. So yeah, that was that. That's what's up, man. <laughs> For like, sure. A lot of people don't know though. You yeah. might look big, but Branson agile though. Man, that, Branson got the A. Bro, I be seeing comments talking about like, um, bro, he's stiff. Like I know he's stiff. I can tell the way he built. I'm like, nah. Bro, I wish I, <laughs> nah. I, would, I would show y'all. I wish I could show y'all the clips. Yeah, like, just the clips. Malachi. I, I, okay, I, I be getting Malachi all the time, bro. Malachi be thinking he got a free I, hit. I, every I knew we, I knew we was gonna go in this, so I was waiting. <laughs> first of all, I'm gonna say firsthand, he, he's not stiff. Okay. <laughs> Thank um, you. But don't make it, he trying to make it seem like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Every time we, me we, and Malachi. We keep a record of this. We keep a record of this. Since right. we got here, I'm winning. No, you're not, bro. <laughs> you <laughs> maybe won one rep. I'm winning. One rep. One rep is crazy. In, in my bracket, maybe. One, one, no. In my so, bracket, don't really my, count. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about scrimmages. Our first scrimmage, come on. I beat, we only you, made you each got other. Me, you got, okay, twice. You twice. got me once and I got you one. We talked. 
What? Which one you got me? What you mean? Uh, you talking about when I <laughs> no, hit me that, on the that, side? That, was, that wasn't me. That Kawhi, wasn't Kawhi you. came in from the side. Right. You you got off. I mean, you got yeah, You had full head of steam. I was turned so sideways. You. I was turned sideways, no, no, and you no, you was no, running no, full no. speed. And that don't count. Time of practice, there was a time of practice where you thought you was about to get me. I got you. You thought you was about to get Kirby me. Kirby said on the hot you, mic, you thought I got you. was you. about to get me. I got Cause you. Because you got me before. You got me the first time. Right. The second time, you didn't get me. I'm up. I'm up we, seven to two, maybe. Seven, two seven to two. Is he, wild. Maybe, he maybe won two. Guys. He gaffing you, bro. Seven to two. That's not true. But yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, hey, man. They be. Hey, bro, I was about like, to say, I'm hold on. I read. I read a comment, and it was like every time somebody try you, you sit up. <laughs> you get serious, and oh God, I just oh, watched yeah. this happen. Because yeah, he you sit back and chill. You get up. He said, Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, bro. Like, yeah, I be. They be saying that, bro, but. Bro, I'm really like, bro, yeah. I can move. I'm not hey, no Barry Sanders, but you can I can move. Though, you feel me? <laughs> I think what begin people too is is they don't think that. Yeah, they come to they come, they come and they're like, oh, he finna lower that he shoulder. He finna lower that shoulder. Yeah, yeah. But he, he don't got I'm nothing. A, else in his you bag. know what I'm saying? I'm a, uh, uh-uh. uh. Like, whoa, <laughs> ain't no so he had that. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna but, let him keep thinking that. I, I will say that though. So like when I, when I first got here, um, I would say you know like the phrase iron sharpens iron. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you coming in being a running back, uh, me being a safety that like that competition that we built, mm-hmm. um, you know, just the competitors that we have within each other and the goals mm-hmm. that we have. I think like it's helped us be where we want to be, and it's going to help us get to where we want to go. And no, I think for like, sure. like that was before, like that was already instilled before we had got here. Yeah, right? like because that's how the place is. Like it's very competitive. Yeah, but um, just kind of going back, like. Just that competitive nature um, that we had, uh, you know. I'm I'm basically winning if you ask me. <laughs> no, <laughs> but but I would say this though, like but, we compete with everybody and everything. But I would say with me and Malachi, especially like right before I got hurt, it was like a healthy competition. Yeah, like, like in practice, we was excited that we was going against each other, but it wasn't like no bad blood. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? But we was excited to see, you know what I'm saying. Who go win? You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I knew at the practice we would go laugh and joke about it and right. see like, yeah, I got you. But you know, I always get them, so it's always <laughs> yeah. it's always me saying that. Okay. So okay. speaking of speaking of injury, right? Um, how you feeling, man? You know, I know a lot. Man, of people, look here. I was about to say, I know a lot of people ask you all the time, like, <laughs> look here. You know, what's the timeline? How you feeling? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't. Tell him, don't worry about the time, man. Just know, <laughs> just know, just know when I come I'll, back. When I get back, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna, gonna be hell. Crazy. It's gonna be hell to pay. It's gonna be hell. Um, to be honest, bro, like I feel good now. Yeah, I feel like I can go out there now. But right. you know, taking it day by day, yeah. we're not rushing anything. But uh, don't worry about the timeline. You know what I'm saying? Don't. I'm talking to the people here. Don't worry about the timeline, <laughs> or anything like that. Just know, we're well, back. Them back. You go know them back. Yeah. You feel me? So and, like um, mentally, what what keeps you going? Like who's in your corner that you know kind of keeps you grounded? You know, because mm-hmm. there's there's trials and tribulations with injury. You know, right. especially I know for a fact. You know, dealt with the same type of thing or whatnot. Right. Um, so what you know, what has helped you kind of keep that path a day by day? You know, um, not get discouraged. I'm gonna come in here. I'm still gonna put in the work. Right. Things like that. Um. First off, when I first got that injury, bro, I was in a bad, rough place. Mm-hmm. Rough place, mentally. Uh, physically, too, yeah, because it was right after. But, uh, yeah, and, of course, my parents was there, and my mom, especially, you know, her being a mom, a good mom, like, should, you know what I'm yeah. saying? She was always there, and, you know, anytime I needed to call and get a little pick-me-up, you know what I'm saying? She was there. So I will definitely say my parents played a vital role at the beginning, it still is to this day, but at the very beginning, that's who I clung on to the most. Mm-hmm. Cause, like I needed them, for sure. Cause uh, I, I didn't at that time. It was like, bro, like, cause at the it was it was so scary for me at the beginning, cause this is a very uncommon injury. Like, you don't you don't see this injury often in football. Yeah. And um, so that's why that's why when it first happened, everybody I couldn't get like a straight answer. Like I couldn't get like. When I'm gonna go be? How long the recovery process mm-hmm. and everything like that? And um, cause it was so uncommon, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Not this doesn't happen. And um, so I was very nervous. I was on edge a lot. But um, being around y'all, bro, and I'm just keep it real, like being around y'all, especially going through the season. You know, I would de- I definitely would 
would want to be in the games playing on Saturdays. Mm-hmm. But, but seeing y'all making plays, bro, yeah. like, truly, like, just out there having fun, that makes me, like, want to just go harder every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Continue to rehab. Because it's like, I want to be out there having fun with y'all. Right. You know, so I'm on the sideline, you know, having, you know, when y'all get to the sideline out there making a play and everything like that, mm-hmm. I'm laughing and joking with y'all. That's fun. But that, that in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I got to. I gotta keep working hard, bro, because yeah. I want I want to be out there with my brothers. Right. You know what I'm saying? So being around y'all every day really kept me like in that mode. I never really got out that mode because at the end of the day, I got a goal I want to reach. You, right. I got mm-hmm. stuff that I want to do, and um, I just I don't want to settle for something that I know that I'm much more capable of. You feel me? So at the end of the day, like I'm a if anything, I'm a grind because I want to do it. You right. know what I'm saying? But seeing y'all having fun and at practice and just joke being around y'all all day because we I mean we forced to when we around y'all we around each other 24 7 you know that's just how Georgia is but uh, being around y'all that's really the biggest thing man like just having fun with y'all boys bro but that's about it kind of going back off of that you you had mentioned like some goals so like what are some goals you see for yourself in this year Um, oh You know, first goal, we, we got to win a natty. You know right. what I'm saying? We got to. Yeah. Ain't no it was ands and buts about right. it. You know what I'm saying? Back. You know, we know, bro, we lost one game. Yeah, in I know. our whole career. That's crazy. I know. Only one. That's crazy. One. And that, it hurt it, too. Oh, I forgot what that <laughs> oh, felt God, like. Oh, God, it did. I forgot I what it felt like to lose. <laughs> yeah, I forgot, bro. I ain't lost. Real talk. I, I came lost from a minute. I came from a losing program, then I got so used to, <laughs> and then I got so used to winning, and I was like, I was like, oh, shit, I get used to this. Used to this. I lost in the, all that shit that came back from my school. I was like, damn. <laughs> Not but, again. Uh, <coughs> I only lost one game, but um, yeah, you know that's the that's the biggest goal winning that. You know, say so ain't no feeling like winning that. You nice. know what I'm saying. And being a part of it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That that was just a different feeling. I remember they still got that that they took that video of me, you and Jay Walk. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I mean, it was that was a fun time. But uh personal goals, I mean, um I'm reaching more towards twelve hundred, thirteen hundred yards, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Ten plus touchdown. Those just goals that I, I know I can reach. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't far fetched. Now, if we talking Heisman, of course I want to win a Heisman. Right. Exactly. Yeah, everybody want to win a Heisman. But, I mean, it's a quarterback award. Oh, yeah. Uh, Carson Beck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? CB. CB. Carson Beck. <laughs> that, that's his award. That's, 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 that's his. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that should have been brought by ours. Mm. Nah, that, he should have won it even when he came back, in my opinion. But hey, yeah, pass no, is pass. <laughs> That's but yeah, not um, me, so yeah, <laughs> dope. Yeah. You know, dope Walker is definitely in there. But you know, Heisman, those like individual specific awards. Of course, I want to win those. But I'm talking about lofty awards as far as what I know I can accomplish in right. the season. Because mm-hmm. you know, um, that's just something that I said for myself. Because I know, like, I'm just confident in my ability, and right. I'm. I'm, I don't think that's a bad thing to say. I think no. that's that's the case for you. We never right. brag about it. We never say we better than the next person or anything mm-hmm. like that. But we, de- I definitely feel like to to be as good as you are, you know what I'm saying, taking you as an example, yeah. all you accomplish, you have to be, have a certain level of confidence. Right, you know exactly. what I'm saying? You just you can't, can't go out there and it. just think, yeah. you know what I'm saying, I'm just another guy. You got to right. have a certain type of mentality. Like mindset. Right. Like, I was so, going to say confidence is a big key to, yeah. uh, like, a lot of players don't, understand is like no, confidence real. can make or break your game oh, fact. okay for sure for sure especially no, I, especially with kirby on that mic mm, oh <laughs> you gotta have you yeah, gotta have confidence. yeah he, confidence. he, he do build does. confidence yeah but you gotta have a certain level like of you just, make you or break you yeah mm-hmm. man yeah but uh yeah man it just i just know what i'm capable of and what i can do once i'm um, fully back healthy so those just the goals that i set for myself right and yeah. I, I think like it plays a big part like not even like, like you said, it's not even cockiness or like, you. We think we like above everybody. All I right. think it's the. You have. What's the word I'm looking for? Let me go a different route. You know what works. Let me go a different route. I can't forget the words. Let me go a different route. I didn't make that one. Ah, yeah, you did. Okay, maybe. Let me do a different route. That's my key. Uh, 
you know what work you've put into your gift right and all the work you've put in right you have confidence in the things that you've done to get where you are really for sure so. tenacity no okay no Right. <laughs> tenacity. Too big no, for you? No, that's not. I, I, don't, I don't even know why you. Okay, that, 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 that was too big for you. No, that's not what I was looking for. Right. That's not what I was looking for. Yeah, mo- that. I've, yeah, that plays a part in. That's the biggest thing. Like once you know that you putting in a certain amount of work, bro. Yeah, like, what's the point of Doubt doing all that if you just go say oh, I'm, I'm just out here. Doing, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm I'm not doing all this just to be average. You know what I'm saying? Or just, you know, just just try to fit in. I'm doing this because I want to. I got a goal that right. I set for myself, and we all do, and I want to reach it at right. the end of the day. So, yeah. I think you're going to reach it. I think you're going to reach past it. I, you, said, you said 1,200. I'm thinking 15. I was being nice. You know what I'm, I'm saying? thinking 15. 15? 1,500. We play a lot of games this year. 16, 17 That's touchdowns. Game, man. We, we do play a lot of games. Like we do play a lot of games. Why they, why they do that to us? <laughs> why they do that to us? It's, it's going like, to cut into like, the next semester. Like we gonna miss yeah. like a week or two of school. I think I could be wrong, but mm. what's it? I think like bad. I think the natty. I think the natty would be like on like the twenty fifth. Correct me if I'm no. I'm so off. Where is it? It's in Atlanta. I think it's in. I think it is in. Atlanta. It's in. It's in Atlanta. Y'all like playing in Atlanta, bro? I ain't gonna lie. I, <laughs> I ain't gonna I played lie. the well. I played it two times. LSU and um, our first game at Oregon. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't. I don't like the turf. Y'all like the turf. I just want to change the scenery. That's it. I, I love yeah, Atlanta. We, it's getting old. Yeah, like, yeah. I love that's, Atlanta. That's basically home, bro. But we've been there, like, six times now. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm a fan of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of the, of the whole thing? Like, the, I mean, I love, I love it. It's our turf. Like, that's home turf to us. I'm not, I'm not used to, not saying I'm not used to it. I'd rather play on grass. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But, yeah. like, I, I don't mind playing there. Like you know what? I feel like it's my home. It's like curve. I, I was about to say curveball. That's where, that's where I, make I would more. love to do the Hawaii Bowl. Like I would love to go to Hawaii. Hawaii? How long is that flight? Because I'm not going. I'm not going <laughs> I man. forgot you scared of planes. Talk, you scared, scared of planes? Of planes? I, t- I take two bad drills. Do your ears pop? I'll, I'll be sleep. I take two bad drills. He knocked himself out on purpose. So <laughs> no, real talk, real talk. Before we get on the plane, I take two bad drills on the way there, and I take two bad drills on the way back. But drug and stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> Get out of the place. <laughs> crazy, bro, I, am, bro, I am terrified of the place. They freak me out. But I love watching them. Turbulence. You love watching it's them. It's the turbulence I, that I gets love, you? It's all of it. It's My last point I was on, it it's had it, so much turbulence. Too. Like, basically the whole... Me it was too, like an hour flight. But, like, I like, I just can't do it. But me and my dog, I got a dog named Smoke. We sit outside and just watch the place. For real? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love planes, though. I'm worried about you, bro. First of all, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't come at me, dog. First of all, did y'all see his eyes? First, first he was serious. He said, first, first of all, I'm serious about what I'm saying. Bro, you okay? Second of all, okay. My dog. Yeah. What type of dog you got? I got a rock roller. I had a rock. Yeah. What's her name? Smoke. It's a girl. It's right? a boy. It's a boy. Yeah. Smoke. That's yeah. so like. Okay, first of all, first of all, generic. Okay. Like, don't come at me because my dog. That's a. My that's dog, like some basic male yeah. right name. He, Smoke. He, my dog is beautiful, and he basically a male beautiful. Rottweiler so, name. You Smoke. looked up male Rottweiler names. Go ahead. That's the first no, one that no, popped up. It, it no, was like it popped oh, up. Smoke is on. <laughs> so. Okay, wait. Talk about. Talk about. Before you start, don't you got a cat? Go ahead. It's oh. not. It's not my cat. <laughs> Who ca- oh, it's the real cat. Yeah. Monday, January twentieth, twenty twenty-five, in Mercedes Benz. See, that's like January twentieth. School started on the tenth. The, the semifinal game is on the tenth, so I guess the Saturday, and then you got ten oh. days off before the match. See, I'm, I'm missing. I'm missing ten days of school. Wow. Well, not ten Five. days, but. You Are know, you happy yeah. about that or sad? I mean, both. But like, you know, it is like if you if you don't get off to a good start. True. Like, true. Mm. Year, you, true. You start from behind. Is that, that the first week of class? class? What, the 10th? Oh, uh, like, that, that's the first week, yeah. You go to that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, hey, we, like I didn't want to say it. We all go to class. No, 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 oh, we, we, go to class. Okay, we all okay, go yeah, to class. We, we definitely go to class. We, we all go to class. So let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, yes, I, I Kirby, go. Kirby watches, right? Kirby watches. We go to class. I go, <laughs> I go and try to figure out what my classes are. Because I, I only know certain spots on campus. Bruh, I don't me know either. campus. Oh, yeah. my so, God. Like, I, I drive around trying to figure out what my classes are. Dog. You know, Freshman year? Freshman year, bro. I was in a spin cycle. I didn't know what Nobody was going was, on. Nobody was because they were at the natty. The, the first, the first, <sighs> the first day of class. Uh-huh. I don't think. I don't. Anyways, the first day of class, they were at the natty. Yeah. That's the that's where natty was. So it was the all, all the people who came mid years. <laughs> just dropped out. <laughs> they, they were here by ourselves. So, yeah. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to you know 
I'm just getting to college. This is my first day in class. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got my book bag. I got my outfit out. You know what I'm saying? Outfit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm treating okay. You got the first day of school. Okay. Yeah. I had some sweatpants and a hoodie. That was it. No okay. socks. Oh, drip, uh, man. Yeah, no socks. Uh, wow. Um, <laughs> he lost me. <laughs> and keep in mind, like, I grew up, I grew up around Athens. So yeah. I know Athens pretty well. Tell me why I go to the bus stop. I get on the bus. Mm. I'm looking. I'm like, all right. All right. <laughs> I end up outside of Athens, like I don't, I don't know why. I'm, I, I don't know why I'm at. So, so I go. I you go didn't back. at one of the stops. Go. Maybe I should get off right I go, now. I go back to the dorm. I go back to the dorm. I get in my car and I go home. That's I had to get a I had to get a bike, bro. That's what I, I that's why I got invested in. I gotta get a scooter. Yeah, I'm I didn't want to be a scooter guy. I'm not, wearing, I'm not getting no bike. I got a pedal. We already run too much as it is. I'm not getting no bike. Nah, that's, mine's electric. That's the thing. I don't want to move my. I don't want to have electric. to have no physical yeah. activity. Yeah. You feel me? You know Y'all getting met. Mine's electric. I just put my feet. I'm sitting down and I just put my feet on the pedals. I don't got to do no pedaling. I did see you driving to class the other day. You going up the hill? Yeah. My park hall. Yeah, and I didn't do no pedaling. I just go like that. Oh, it was with the uh, bike? Yeah, it's an electric oh, okay, bike. Okay, okay. I didn't want to be a scooter guy. People be having accidents. Everybody like. be hating on scooter. Hey, like, you remember when Daniel Harris got Bro. <laughs> you know, like, I walked in the turn room and he was wrapped up like a mummy. I, I said, what's wrong with you? He said, ah. Cooper couldn't practice for two weeks, bro. He like bruised oh, his ribs yeah, or something. That, yeah. That was, yeah. Yeah, people be having accidents. But everybody hate on the scooters. Like, y'all should get scooters. And then I'm gonna you in. wouldn't hate on the scooter then. I'm I'm gonna gonna invest invest in. a moped. This is a moped? I wanted a motorcycle so bad. You don't need a motorcycle. I don't. Bro. You don't. I don't. Like the electric bike is enough because yeah. I'd be like, You're too close, the wind man. be hitting my hair and I'm like, and I'd be like driving. <laughs> and I, think, what, what you I think it look cooler in my head, don't do but that. I know like the don't. girls are like on the side, they'd be like, Whoop. Don't, don't do that. Because I'd be going by like, <laughs> don't ever do that. Don't do that. My fault, bro. bro. My fault. I just, you gotta put a little swag to it. That's, not that's swag. swag. If it was a motorcycle, it'd be way worse. If it was a motorcycle, I'd be that guy at the light. That's not swag. Mm. That's not swag. I had a Harley that's like this. Your hair's not even long <laughs> enough for you to. I know we're not talking about long hair, Mr. I burnt half of mine off. <laughs> oh, I remember you. It was a mistake. I remember you said okay. that. <laughs> it was a mistake. You know what? One day, one day you can wake up. How you even do that? Your, your head is gonna be on fire. No, I'm not. I know where you stay. That doesn't just happen to people. I know where you stay. <laughs> That's I'm, just crazy. I'm telling you, I'm gonna do it. Okay. You see that? You see that little, the one on the right? Yeah. Right here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be up here. Yeah. It's gonna look like yours. Yep. Right here. <laughs> the one that's like back here. Right here. All right. Anyway, your hair has been the same size the only time I met you, like since I know you. It's mm -hmm. been that length since I met you. You've probably you. been burning it. No, nah, you had a nappy cut. You had a nappy cut. You I, had had a, I had a nappy cut for a while, and then it grew. For a minute. And then I, I cut it, and then it grew yeah. again. And then, you know, the accident had happened that we don't got to get into. Uh, it's crazy, Malachi. Uh, <laughs> I'm ashamed of you, dog. Uh, you know, it can happen to anybody. No, it can't. Yeah, I mean, have you not seen the movies? Have you Select few. The, what, the Dumb movies. and Dumber movies? What? The Dumb and Dumber movies? That's <laughs> the one you talking about? I'm dumb. You dumber. That's so crazy, bro. <laughs> All right, um, Malachi, yes. Champ Bailey. Ooh. I was about to say, I think a lot of people, you know, a buzz has been going on. Malachi mm -hmm. got to sit down with Champ Bailey, but a lot of people don't know, like, you already kind of have a relationship yeah, with the guy. That's, that's my aunt, man. Yeah. He, uh, mm -hmm. he, he been like family for a while. So, uh, you know, his brother, boss, mm -hmm. um, his son, Caden Bailey, he's like my brother. He moved here when we were little. And he's yeah. been like my best friend ever since. And I had met Champ. And like, crazy thing about it, people don't call me crazy. I don't care. I was little. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we had practice. I see boss walk, walk over. And like, my dad, my like my, my other best friend, dad, they going crazy. Like, oh, my God. It's like, like, oh, that's Boss Bailey. That's Boss Bailey. That's boss Bailey. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Oh, Boss Bailey. That Boss Bailey right now. Champ Bailey and Boss Bailey, are they brothers? Yeah. Bro, okay. Did they both play here? Yeah. Did he just okay. have that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Which Champ one are we talking Bailey, about? Champ Bailey, Boss Bailey. We're talking about both. Oh, we're talking about both. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying Boss walked into practice. Everybody going crazy. Like, even some of my teammates going crazy. We in middle school. Okay? Yeah. Mm. Boss Bailey, Boss Bailey. I'm looking over. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Who's the goofy kid walking with? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It turned out to be Kaden. Yeah. Shout out Kaden if you watch it. Oh, uh, but then we became best friends, and then uh, you know, I had, I got the honor to meet Champ, and you know, just to have that relationship because he's there. Like whenever I, if I need advice on something or whatever, you know, I can reach out. And for him being, you know, 
one of the top people to play this game at the highest level. You know what I'm saying? The dude got a gold jacket. What more can you ask for? Facts. Mm-hmm. Um, so just to have him in that corner, you know, the sit down was awesome. You yeah. know, it's always like it was an honor just to sit down with him and he pick, him. And, and pick his that? brain. And, uh, you know, just figure out, like, what got him into the position that he is today to mm-hmm. have a gold jacket. And, like, when he got to the point, where, like, how did he stay there? So, I mean, so it was it was really an honor to sit down with him, even though me and him were pretty close to just talk. What did you say? <laughs> no, no, no. He's, what, you're you sick, ain't eh? I got allergies. <laughs> oh, okay. The pollen, pollen killing me. Oh, for real? Yeah, my car. How old are you? Me? Yeah. How old are you? Allergic to pollen? Yeah, I'm both getting old. Okay, first of all, yeah, not, not that, age. that's what you there's, do when you like there's six, not an seven. age attached to allergic to being. There's not an age to that. Yes, it is. Once you get a certain age, like pollen what, doesn't what's affect a certain you. Age? What's a certain age? Tell me. You don't know. Thank you. Eighteen. No, <laughs> well, really low. Seventeen. Seventeen 16. is crazy. Sixteen. Really, once you hit high school, pollen should affect you. No that's more. so crazy. The pollen should not affect you no more. Just because you don't got the same system as I do, that don't mean. <laughs> man, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm allergic to pollen still. I'm twenty. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yeah, You're not even a teenager care. no more. Hey, me and Branson was talking about it earlier. I don't care what y'all was talking about. <laughs> no, I was about <laughs> to ask you. This years. is a whole different question, bro. I mean, go ahead. Damn, why are you getting right. so dismissive I mean, I'm right I'm now? Saying, I'm saying, go ahead. Are you really that mad about the pollen, bro? I, mean, I don't really care. Okay. A lot of people allergic to the pollen. <laughs> anyway, come not grown allergic ups. to pollen. Not grown-ups. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Maybe little kids. But okay. <laughs> Maybe people who are like 5'7". Maybe right. children and the elderly. Maybe, All right. Anyway. Maybe people who are 5'7 and buff and people who are 5'7". Five five seven. Seven. Who, who, who are you talking about? Maybe people who are 5'7 and buff and a 5'7 who drive a bike to class. I'm not 5'7, first of all. Continue, continue. We're the same height. Exactly. Anyway, bro. Anyway. Crazy. We was talking earlier. We was like, uh, "How many?" I just want to know, like, on the regular, how many comments do you get about your voice? Because I feel like, <laughs> I feel, <laughs> because like, you have a distinct voice. You do. You do. Once you, you hear a, your voice, you know that's Malachi. And, and like, it could be Troy, but look, could be Troy too. But, Troy um, Bowes, y'all do have the same voice. You can't even cap. Yeah, I got. I have heard voice. your voice described. A multitude of ways, <laughs> and I just want to see. I want to hear your take on it first, and I want to tell you what I've heard. Don't change your voice. And describe it. No, yeah, this, I think okay. I think uh, your voice is great. <laughs> I think your voice is really uh, nice. Uh, you know. Uh, how do you feel <clears throat> that people talk about your voice? You know, if I had to say how I feel, <laughs> uh, you know, my voice is unique. You know, yeah, it, it is. It, it's not. I I don't have. Uh, you know, what I'm saying, what do you would call it? A lot of bass. Brass. Uh, That's what you got. It's, Rass. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's quiet, but like yeah. it's effective. You it's almost like you're talking so like, in the back of your throat. So like, yeah, like, but if I'm yelling, like, you will hear me. <laughs> I, okay, see, that's crazy. <laughs> that's how you sound. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Don't, don't you say it, don't you say it. I love you so much, Say it, say it, say it. The funniest comment I've ever seen is somebody was like, why well, Malachi voice sound ashy? Like, oh, <laughs> it do sound ashy, bro. This shit's too accurate, bro. You know what? You know what? I got, I got a unique voice, and I love it. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure. I just think it needs like a little lotion. Voice, you good, bro. I appreciate that. Yeah, like, yeah. you straight. I think it's straight. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know what I mean? ASMR, you be all right. Yeah, you know, I, I could <laughs> be that right. for a living. Yeah. I could be for a living. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice voice. It's a cool voice. It fits you. I don't think, I think I would look at you different if you had a different voice. It's unique. Well, you know what I'm saying? God, get, God bless me with a I don't think we'll be friends if you had a different voice. I mean, I probably you got, God, you got a God friendly voice. God bless you with that voice, just like he blessed Branson with that height. <laughs> that was that wasn't good. That wasn't it. No, that wasn't it. No. Hey, what are some things like when you're running late for class? This has been on my mind all day because it just happened to me earlier. Mm-hmm. When you're running late for something like class or something like that, mm-hmm. what are those little things that like take you off? When I'm waiting on Miles Thornton, um, probably, be, probably be the biggest one. Why are you? Why are you? So like, 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 if we going somewhere, why are you throwing? I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm like five, ten minutes away. You like, all right. I'm, I'm about to I'm about to walk down. I get there. Yo, I'm here. All right, I'm about to walk down. I call him. Yo, I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to trash can right when you walk out the door, so you ain't gotta walk that far. Yeah, I'm, I'm just grabbing I'm just grabbing my beanie. I'm about I'm about to walk down in about, about two minutes. Ten minutes later, he just walked down. <laughs> Taking his time. Taking his precious time. I didn't yeah. think we were being person specific. I was gonna say something like when your keychain gets oh, stuck fault. on the okay, door. Okay, 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 I didn't probably, know this was a personal attack probably, here. Probably, probably like uh, or like you had the mm. wire headphones. Probably like when you like when you forget, like when you forget. Oh something. my god, yeah. 
Like, oh my like, god. If you got a long walk to like the car, it's yeah. so, like mm-hmm. you know how we park at the church, you walk to the church and you forget your keys. Yeah. Then you gotta walk back. You already late. For me, bro, and I, sw- I this might just be a personal thing. When I'm leaving, I always lock my door and I leave. Yeah. But every time I'm in a rush, like I'm in a real rush, mm-hmm. I all my hands be slippery. And I grab my keys and I can't grab it out my and then when I do grab it, it be it be it be dropping. It's like, bro, like this is pissing me out. Like I don't even want to go no more wherever I was trying to go. Cause y'all I can't back even in, lock my door. Bro. I was gonna say, y'all remember back in high school when you had the wire headphones and you rushing to like get on yeah. the bus as soon yeah. as you open the door. Yeah, you get caught. Back after it. <laughs> bro, no these little things like that just set you over the edge. Bro. No I, cap. When I stomp, if I stomp my toe, I'm not oh, going. Stomp me on toe in the morning. <laughs> like, talk, like, I don't care what it is. If I stomp my toe, I'm not going. <laughs> yeah, bro, oh, yeah. ruin your whole yeah, day. You feel me? I'm oh yeah, for home. sure. I gotta bro. walk with a limp. Setting your that's alarm. That's just a sign. Like, don't go. Don't go. Setting your alarm for PM instead of AM. Oh. Oh, that's the god. worst. I do. Oh my god. Yes. Waking up to them 15 calls and texts. Dog. That happened to me a couple times. Dog. One or two times. That for and then sure. you turn, bro. Start your car. Check engine light on. Oh my, mine's already on. Oh no. 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 This is this is the one. This is the one. What is it? When you're <laughs> This is UGA specific too. When you're driving and that light, when you're coming off the loop and you're behind one of the Georgia buses mm. and it, it just turned green. Boy, you ain't it li- just turned green. You ain't never And you're like, oh, I'm about to make it. You're in a rush, bro. <laughs> you ain't never lie. And the bro. UGA bus stops at the railroad track. You ain't never lie. And you like, why are you stopping? There's no train. Why are you stopping? There's no train. There hasn't been a train for years. There's not going to be a train. Uh, you know what?